it's deeper than that. It's more, this stuff is more spiritual than what you think. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Janae McLean. Thank you so much for being here on my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for being here. If you are new, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a special guest. My husband's really not a special guest anymore. This is like your fourth time coming on my channel. The one and only. <laughs> the one and only. I have my husband here on my channel. So, Most of you guys know who, who he is, especially if you've seen our video on how do we wait in, to marriage to have sex? So mm -hmm. that video is very popular on my channel. So a lot of you know him from that video. Yeah. So today we are here to address a very important topic. My heart is heavy right now, even thinking about the thought of speaking on this, but it needs to be spoken on. It needs to be addressed. So before we start this video, I want you to pray and ask God to have a vision like he has a vision, to see like he sees, to hear like he hears, and truly ask God to do that for you before you watch this video. Like many of you, I used to be pro-choice, my body, my choice. Uh, I, I, that used to be me. So I can see how you can be blinded by that. The enemy is very tricky when it comes to these rights, when it comes to these things. And he has blinded so many people behind what abortion is. I know for me, I was blinded for many, many years because I was pro-choice, like I stated before. And a few years ago, I became pro-life after I understood what abortion was and how I realized God does not like abortion. Mm -hmm. God is not pleased with abortion. And before we get into it, before you say, well, what about those who are... People don't need more trauma. They need care. They need love. They need help. They need support. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so we're going to get right into... Hi guys, I just wanted to post this because I seen that people have been posting this post around saying that, oh, if a woman child is no longer alive in the womb, that she has to walk around nine months. That is not true. That's absolutely false. So if you have a miscarriage or anything that's posted above, here are facts here. They will take care of you. At this point, it's not considered abortion because your baby is no longer alive in the womb. This is not abortion. Before we get into the video, we're going to read this Bible verse. Psalms 139 and 13 through 16 says, For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you and I was being made in secret, moving in the depths of the earth. So that verse alone tells you that God knows the unborn mm -hmm. when god puts the baby in there and knits the baby god knows the unborn and it's just a reminder that god cares for the unborn it's not a oh it's, it's not a human yet no god knows the baby in the mother's womb mm -hmm. when you have an abortion you are literally murdering a baby right I know you don't want to think of it that way. I know you don't want to picture it that way, but that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I used to be pro-choice. So this is not me coming down and you're like, ah, but this is me teaching you and educating you and opening your eyes to what the enemy is trying to hide from you, what the enemy is trying to put his hands over your eyes so you can't see exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. So the enemy is trying to close your eyes and trying to get you not to see exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. It is literally murder. And some of us, we're, we just want to please ourselves. We want to just please our flesh. We just want to do what we want to do. We just want to do what our desires so badly that we are willing to continue to do things that cause us to go get abortions every five seconds. Go do this. Go do that. Instead of obeying God. Mm hmm God has things in place for us to help us, to shield us, not to punish us. You know, and that's why, you know, we and my husband talked about us waiting to marriage to have sex. Once we realized who we were in God, right. we made a decision that, no, it's not even worth it. Like, God has these things in place for us to mm -hmm. protect us. Yeah. 
So before I met my husband, I had already made the decision that God, I'm going to honor you in my body. I'm going to stop having sex until marriage. And the person that I meet, I hope he's on the same page. And I just knew that God would bring me to someone that did. And that's when I met my husband. He was on the same exact page. But guess what? If we wanted to please our desire so bad, if we want to just do what we want to do, we could have easily slipped up and had a child and then went and got an abortion. Right. And that's what so many people are doing. They, 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 they're putting their feelings in this so much and they're putting their emotions in it so much and they're not looking at the bigger picture. They're not looking at what this is, what abortion actually is. It's murder. Just think about it. Why do you think when a man or whoever it is kills a woman that's pregnant, so most times they give him two counts of murder for the woman and the baby in the womb? Mm -hmm. But you telling me that having an abortion is not murdering a child. It is. And if you're listening to this and you have had an abortion, God will forgive you. God can forgive you. So I don't want you to listen to this thinking that, oh my God, I'm a murderer. Oh my God. No, God is, can wash you clean. You have to repent. You have to turn back to God. You have to ask God for forgiveness. God is a redeemer. He can redeem you. And that's the thing, um, the enemy, the enemy wants to make you feel that it's so normal right. to continue to have sex. Okay, I'm pregnant. Let me go get an abortion. Mm -hmm. Have sex again. I'm pregnant. Go get an abortion. Mm -hmm. He wants you to continue this and it begins to feel, okay, well. Like birth control, kind of like a birth control. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's nothing. I heard stories of how when women go in, they come out crying. They come out emotionally like drained. Some people don't want to talk to people. Some people go in depression for years after mm -hmm. that. And I mean, it's a it's a spiritual thing. This is a sacrifice to how you feel. You're sacrificing the baby for your own idols. You're sacrificing the baby for how you feel. Sacrificing the baby for money. Sacrificing the baby for a relationship or whatever it is. You're putting other things above the baby. You're putting other things above this gift that God has given you. So you're like, I don't want it anymore. I want my own lifestyle. I want to please my own flesh each and every time that I have sex. Each and every time I'm, I'm going out, I'm having sex, and I'm doing what I want to do, and then I go get an abortion. Yeah. It's nothing. That's what the enemy wants you to think mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. So you have to get out of it. Like The devil is brainwashing people to thinking that this is okay. Everyone that's against everything being overturned mm -hmm. that i i believe that you're working with the demonic you're mm -hmm. working with you're working with de you're working with the devil mm -hmm. you're working with satan because even in the satanic temple they have on their website mm -hmm. um they have on their website that one thing that they want to do is to continue to have people getting abortions mm -hmm. they want to continue to abort babies because it's a blood sacrifice this is something that is pure evil it's it's nothing godly about that. It's nothing positive about it, mm -hmm. and it's I I say that you're parting with the devil mm -hmm. once you continue to fight for the fact that people can't get abortions anymore. Mm -hmm. So, and in the Bible, it talks about child sacrifice as part of of a demonic religion. Yeah, and it says you should not let any of your descendants pass through the fire to Moloch. We'll talk about Moloch in a minute. Nor shall you, nor shall you profane the name of your God. I am the Lord, and that's in Leviticus eighteen and twenty one. Mm -hmm. So, the God of Moloch was um, it was a Canaanite God, and the people of Canaanite brought their babies to Moloch to be burned and to be burned for whatever sacrifice that they were given. So, and I also read that the parents, the mother. They had to praise and act like they were rejoicing while the baby was like, this is pure evil, y'all. It's pure evil. And think about it. It's the opposite when you go and have an abortion. Now it's the opposite. Now people are crying. Now people are weeping after they walk out of the abortion clinic. But back in the biblical days, they were rejoicing. Everybody's not crying. Some people are kind of numb to it and they're just like, it's another day. Yeah. So you know? basically, it's similar to what's going on today mm -hmm. when you are shedding blood, when you are getting that abortion, when you are saying, oh, it's just an abortion. Oh, well, I'm going to give me an abortion anyway. Who cares? Here goes this baby, blah, blah, blah. You're basically saying you don't care. Yeah. 
It's and sick. then you are creating a covenant yeah. with the enemy when mm -hmm. you do these things. See, the enemy is tricky. The enemy wants you just to feel like, oh, it's just, a, oh, okay, whatever. It's just right. another thing. Right, right. Another, another day. No. Mm. It's deeper than that. It's more, this stuff is more spiritual than what you think. And it's time to repent. It's, it's time to repent. I'm going to add that miscarriages and things of that nature are not abortion. Once the baby um, is deceased in the womb, dead, whatever you want to call it, in the womb, there's different procedures that they do for that. So saying that, oh, women who have a miscarriage, they're not going to be able to, to, to get the baby out. Those are lies. Please mm -hmm. fact check before you try mm -hmm. to post things saying that, okay, yeah, women just going to die if something's going on or having a complicated. No, please fact check. Yeah. And those, those statistics, um, I have a chart that I screenshot it and I'll show it here. Um, less than 1% are on a lot of reasons why people get abortions, but the larger reason, 92%. So it's like less than 1% for rape, uh, less than 1% for incest and all of that stuff. But when it gets to the 92%, the majority of people, it says no reason, mm -hmm. no reason. They just, they didn't have a, a valid reason why they're getting an abortion. Mm -hmm. I want to go have sex. I want to have hot girl summer. I want to go do this, do that. <laughs> like, I mean, that's the truth. Everybody want this. This hookup culture is sick. It's wicked. Mm -hmm. It's demonic. It's not of God going to hook up with a lot of people and then, you know, thinking that there aren't any type of consequences to it. Like there are consequences to it, even though it may feel good in the moment. But later on down the line, those consequences are going to hit you hard. Mm -hmm. An abortion is murder. Simple. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. So you can't go trying to please your flesh and then you're like, you're so willing to have sex, but you don't want to have the baby. Right. There, there you're are. You want to please your flesh. That's the, right. That's the, that's the culture that I'll, I want to do what it makes me happy. I want to do what. But can I remind you that when you do what God tells you to do, you will receive joy. You will yep. receive peace. You will be filled with the goodness of God. Definitely. But when you are trying to please your flesh, you're going to continue to feel like, oh, I got to go fill that up. Oh, I got to go do this mm -hmm. to please myself. I got to go do that. Yep. You got to get in relationship with God, especially mm -hmm. in this hour. Yeah. There is no reason why you should be upset about what happened. Roe versus Wade. There's no reason why you should be upset about that. The enemy has a lot of you blinded. You should be celebrating the fact that we will not have to be killing innocent babies. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm yeah. saying this again. It's not. This is. This is not to come at you, but this is to teach you and to educate you yeah. and to truly ask God to open up your eyes so you can see like he sees. Mm -hmm. So you can truly see the demonic thing behind this. Yeah. You are truly partnering with witches when you say, okay, yeah, it's okay to kill women. It's okay. It's not okay. And for the women who may have miscarriages or other type of issues and the baby dies in the womb, there are procedures for that. They're not going to stop that. Yeah. So stop believing the lies and believe the facts. Abortion is murder. And for you to feel like that you can just do whatever you want to do and then just go get an abortion and kill an innocent baby, that's wrong. Yeah. And the enemy has so many people blinded. In addition to everything my wife was just saying, this is not to hard press the women. Yeah. Men mm -hmm. also play a part in this as well. <laughs> Men play a part in it as well. <laughs> now, um, as as mentioned before, um, before we met each other, uh, we did we had sex before. So I've never ever had to tell a woman to go and get an abortion. I've never been the one to press it on anybody until I found out you know, who God was until I really got into the word and everything. Like I knew what was right. I knew what was wrong. I knew everything that I was doing in the past was wrong. I knew having sex before marriage was wrong. I protected myself, but I knew it was wrong. And now I'm to the point where we can educate people. Even after, after all of that, I found God and I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to save myself. I knew I wanted to save myself for marriage. I wanted to save myself for my wife. I wanted to be pure for my wife. I wanted to have all of my sins washed away before I met my wife. So I partnered with God. 
I partnered with him. I partnered with the Holy Spirit, made sure that my flesh was was uh, subjective to the Holy Spirit, made sure that it bowed down to the Holy Spirit. I didn't bow down to sin anymore because if I kept bowing down to sin, I would have been still out here in the world. Some people need to you need to bow down to God. You need to bow down. Put your idols before God. If you love sex so much, put it down before God. God can help you. Absolutely. God can help you more than you can help yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't help it. I can't help it. You can help you can. it. You can. And we have a video on that, how we waited into marriage to have sex. Like I said, when I first yeah. met Alan, I told him, like, look, a few years ago, I made a decision to wait into marriage to have sex. I was like, if you ain't on that path, then buy. And he was like, oh my God, I'm doing the same thing. Same and man. so you really can meet somebody that will honor you they will mm -hmm. honor your body they will honor what mm -hmm. god is telling us to do yep. and y'all can do we have a video below if you want to watch that video feel free to watch the video it goes into details on yep. how we waited in addition to the men also having a part to play in abortion there's some women who don't want to get an abortion mm -hmm. but they've been manipulated mm -hmm. by a man mm -hmm. and the man has told them yo if you don't get this abortion we over Mm -hmm. We over, we done. Mm -hmm. And I ain't talking to you no more for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. And women get so emotionally attached. Mm -hmm. That's why soul ties. Mm -hmm. So that's a that's a whole nother video. But mm -hmm. soul ties is something is something mm -hmm. wicked. It's something strong. So you have to make sure that you are that you're in relationship with God because if you're not you're going to yeah. be easily manipulated. That's one of the tactics of the enemy. Mm -hmm. The enemy wants to manipulate your mind. He wants to manipulate your thinking. So he may use a man. He may use a Jezebel, a Jezebel man. He may use, <laughs> he may use that man and he'll come and tell you, oh, yo, mm -hmm. you don't get this abortion because, um, we ain't going to be, we ain't going to be together no more. You got to get this abortion right now. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that's manipulation. That's witchcraft. That's not, that's nothing godly. That's not, that's not the man that you need to be with. You need to go ahead and part ways with him right now. Yeah. All of these people talking about um, my body, my choice. Sometimes it's the man's choice. Sometimes it's the man's choice. And he's actually saying, yo, go get that abortion. Mm -hmm. So how could you say it's your body and your choice? But trying to please your flesh and trying to please God. Mm hmm. It's it's hard. It's a, you truly have to just follow God, y'all. And so we wanted to educate you guys on this topic. It's just sad that we live in society that just wants to please their flesh so much, and then it's like, oh, I want to go murder a baby. I want to do y'all. It's murder. Mm -hmm. And so if you are watching this video today, and you can make a choice. Now that you're educated, now that you know things, I encourage you to also ask God to help you see and ask God to speak to you. Now that you know these things, you can say, you know what, God, forgive me. I repent. Mm -hmm. I'm pro-life now. And also understand this. If you have had an abortion, if you are watching this, God can, can forgive you. God can forgive you. He's a redeemer. He's a redeemer to the lost. Because a lot of us have done things because we didn't know any better. Mm -hmm. And so God can forgive you. Ask God to forgive you. Repent from that. Fast and pray so you can break those ties with those abortions. Yep. You need to break those ties with those abortions. And I mean, y'all, God forgives you. Mm -hmm. He's not looking over you saying, oh, I, mm, mm. he wants you to turn back to him and be open to the truth, to be open to his truth. Yeah. So. Guys, that's all I have to say today on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it just made you realize that we should be celebrating, mm -hmm. not throwing stones, not saying, oh, since they do this, they're going to try to do this. They're going to try to do the next. I just really think that abortion should have never been a political thing. It should have been no. what it is from the beginning. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you guys. I just want you, I believe you guys deserve to know where I stand. I am pro-life. And I've been pro-life for years. So I hope you guys can make a decision to be pro-life. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.